In this resource, The Tale of Despero, you will learn more about you than you realize. It's a story about a hero mouse that will show you amazing things about your own abilities and even a few of your weaknesses that you could strengthen. This story allows you to see in many ways how your own cool community could look if you were to place a super mouse given your superpowers and you give the name into a community that you build with oven baked clay. Well, let's look at what's involved in this 300 plus page resource. By the way, you can print it off in color or it easily prints off in black and white grayscale. So not to worry if you don't choose to do it in color. I've printed it off in color. That's how the students love it, but it depends on what situation you find yourself in. You will find instead of questions at the end of the chapters, there are 52 chapters, you're going to find curiosity building questions that allow students to get at their own life and relate that to chapter after chapter. So there is a curiosity building question at the beginning of all 52 chapters that the students are going to enjoy. They'll get to the comprehension in other ways, but it's going to differ in a brain-based way from traditional way of doing questions at the end of a chapter. They'll have vocabulary to play with and learn from, and they'll build a, build a community with tasks from oven-baked clay. They're certainly going to learn the story elements such as setting, characters, sequence, exposition, conflict, climax, and resolution. But they'll have much fun building a superpower challenge for their own mouse and for themselves. They'll also use multiple intelligences. This is one little village that was built using different materials. The students that you use with this are going to be using oven baked clay if that's possible. It only takes a little bit of that to build these small features in their magical most community. There are the story elements you'll go through and the students have practice with all of them in the book. The pages look something like this. There are 52 chapters, so there's a worksheet and more for every one of those chapters. For chapter one, you start with a curiosity building question to get the students' minds revved up and they become mindful about their own lives and what could happen in this story. So the first question will ask, could a name make life better or worse? And what do you think the name Despero means? So the students begin to build their curiosity for the story. And then there will be community building tasks for their own oven baked clay community and the superpowers that they're going to be giving their mouse will also be part of this page and there are many pages like this. So then they'll look for clues in the story to see any elements. Maybe they'll only see a climax possibility or a setting possibility in this one and maybe a conflict possibility, but it gets them discussing the story elements that will help them enjoy the resource. Then they'll look for intelligences and there are a list of intelligences here that the students can see what they stand for and how they've come alive in this story. There will be new vocabulary opportunities that are playful and fun and they get to guess the word meanings from context and then they get to check out the word meanings and they get to keep a cool word list to remember and use those meanings in different ways and they'll keep their eyes open for new and playful words and this book lends itself to new and fun words. Then they'll look at sequence in a very new way. I have created for you an answer key for one statement from every one of the 52 chapters to make 52 ordered sequential events or settings or happenings in the story. So the students learn how to sequence one main event in each chapter. There are worksheets so the students can do those themselves, such as this. The top part here is a worksheet. And then on the bottom, I have given you the answer key for all 52 of these. So this is a no prep resource for you.
Students can work together as a group. They can work in small groups in twos. They can work singularly. The uh, more advanced students can get into these series of essays at the end. There are six essays, and these are really fun for students. They involve the namangos. Well, what are namangos, the students wonder. These are fiction characters with real brain parts, so they're worth paying attention to. There's an essay, a short essay, on every one of the six namangos here, and the students get to see these namangos alive. For example, Baz is short for your basal ganglia, your comfort zone, things that you don't want to change from. And the students see that all of the mice scurried around the floor looking for food. That's all they did all day. Whereas Despero was different. He was more like his WM just below that in essay four. He was willing to take a look at what change would look like and what magical things life had for those willing to change. So students get to see and play with ideas from their own brain using these fun and fictitious characters in this resort. There are the multiple intelligences for oodles of ideas for students to use in their own thinking about this story, in their own tasks and strategies, and in, the own, in their own building of a magical mouse community with superpowers that come from many intelligences. So how will your super mouse stand out from the other mouse in your cool community? That's what the students engage them with, themselves with as they go through the story and enjoy the many tasks that go with it to allow them a brain-based way to know story elements and enjoy a good story. They'll also get to know themselves and here is the terms of use spelled out that you can use this for your own class or your own students. You can run copies off for those students and if another teacher uses it they could off your same site get a license for lesser price or they can go to the um, place where the, the, you got the resource and get their own resource rather than just take yours uh, for copyright purposes. Please do contact me. If these materials were helpful to you, do leave a positive review. I'd be so encouraged by that, but I'd even be more honored if I could help you in any way possible. To leave me a comment or a question, don't put that in the rating area. Put it under Ask a Question, and I will be very happy to help you and support you in any way possible. Follow me. My site keeps up with new neuro discoveries for you and your students, and it's called Ellen Weber, Brain-Based Tasks for a Growth Mindset. Enjoy.